Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2018 Good Guys PPG Nationals, and back in the autocross area, I came across a 1967 Firebird Lingenfelter powered street beast. Now I have to apologize to the owner, Damon I think his name is, because I had a audio with him and I screwed it up, it didn't turn out. So brother, I apologize, I'm gonna do my best to represent the car and tell you about uh, what we got going on here. But anyway, so let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. This thing is so cool on so many levels. First, let me say, go Big Orange, right? You had to know that was coming. I love the color. Go Vols. Um, but it's not a 69 Camaro. It's not a first-generation Camaro at all. You know, it's a Firebird. And I think, I think those fenders have probably been widened back there. So there's been a lot of work done on it. I don't remember him mentioning that to me. And again, I apologize, guys, but it just happens. Had a uh, equipment malfunction, operator error as much as anything, but you know, look at that. I love that uh, chin spoiler. I guess that's custom made. I mean, it's perfect for the car. Awesome stance, great wheel choice. Tip the gills that you see in a 69 Camaro. I don't know if they're in, you know, I don't know if they're in the Firebird or not, but he also moved them up on a quarter pan trunk even though it's a race car very clean very nicely done i mean nothing was yeah this isn't was well it was just a race car we you know let it go no this was all done i'm sure those wheel wells have been <laughs> been stretched a tad and i don't know how many miles is on. i don't remember how long it had been done but it was back in the autocross area and he was doing laps. I apologize. I didn't get a chance to shoot him while he was out on the track. There you go. A little Lingenfelder power. I always love to be able to bring you something for Lingenfelder. Such a great company. Such great guys. They do all they can for me. And man, if you've got an LS or a GM power plant, there's where you want to go. Look at that thing. It's got air conditioning, power steering power brakes it's you know you could drive this thing to the grocery store and then still go out there and turn laps on the autocross track you know that's what Lingenfelter is about reliability and performance they want you to be able to put a key in it and it starts every time I didn't see them having any trouble getting this thing to go but uh, yeah you know just refreshing again to see somebody to do a Firebird to this level and not a convertible I know I'm getting picky now but you know and look at the interior again no doubt it's a race car but i would almost say it's overly done for a race car not overly done for a show car obviously but for a race car they didn't have to do it anywhere near this nice i mean it's got a headliner in it, a roll bar it's a really really nice car you know bed liner on the floor but hey it's a race car again you don't need carpet and it was nicely finished out. I like the uh, exhaust, baloney cut. I like the uh, diffuser in the back. Up underneath, all very nice. It's got some kind of mono shock or something going on with it, too. So I don't, you know, I don't know nothing except cool. And it is cool, right? Oh, well, like I said, nice, nice high end level race car. Street Beast. Because I see nothing. <coughs> I see nothing that anybody should be able to say that uh, it's not roadworthy or whatever. It looks roadworthy to me. Looks like it's ready to drive, and I'm ready to take it out and check it out. Autocross at the uh, Good Guys events. Good place to find cars. Good place to take yours out and see uh, test it out. See uh, you know if it performs like you think it will after you spend all that money on it. So there you go from the 2018 Good Guys PPG Nationals 1967 Firebird Autocross. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.